Mrs. Smiley here. Today we are going to do The Shrine. It's a pretty good movie. I, I watched it before. But I like to watch things with everybody else. So let's get to it. <laughs> Two female journalists and a photographer traveled to Europe to investigate a series of mysterious disappearances only to find themselves embroiled in a struggle against a kind of evil they never expected. Exciting. I like evil that's never expected. Like me. Ha! For the opening credits. <laughs> we got this guy that's wearing a nightgown. I don't know why he has to be wearing a nightgown, but... He's tied down to a table, and they take a hammer and a mask. And obviously they impound his face with it. Yikes! Ah, then we get to see, um, <laughs> ladies' legs and boobs. What a good thing, right, LL? <laughs> I know you like them ladies, you little rascal. <laughs> I knew I knew this character, Marcus, um... One of the main characters is Aaron Ashmore. He played in Smallville. He looks like a CW character. And he is. <laughs> oh, Carmen, who is played by Cindy Sampson, is a horrible girlfriend. And she doesn't pay attention to her boy, Marcus, when he's there. So he's tired of the relationship and doesn't want to be in it. She's confused. Why? Ah, so Carmen wants to do this reporter story on the guy from the beginning that got his head mauled by a mask and a uh, hammer. And she's insisting for her boss to let her do the story. Yay! People disappearing, you want to go to the place? Oh, Carmen, listen to your boss. He has a good idea. Don't follow this story about missing people. But of course, she's probably going to, and probably getting herself into a bad situation. Ah. Her friend, Sarah, who's also going to be a main part of this movie, is from American Pie. Ugh. And The Fog, which is a better movie. That's it. I, yeah. This mother of the dead kid is... Pretty fine with them just going around the house and looking at shit. I mean, she's, she doesn't seem to at all that her son is dead. Oh, what a great mother. What do you mean the police won't want it soon? The police need certain things like journals of a kid that's dead. To investigate his fucking story. Please, mother, help your son out and don't give it to them. It's close to midnight. A doodle, 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 do. Wind's blowing. Yikes. If you follow this movie any, this scene doesn't make any sense. How could she possibly have visions of the dead kid? Yes, she knew what he looked like, but she didn't know he got a, his eyes poked out. Come on, movie. No, 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 no. So she wants to connect with her boyfriend. So she invites him on the trip that her boss specifically said not to go on. How are you getting paid? Oh, so her boss thinks that she's going for the bees story. Not her actual story that she booked a ticket for. Well, of course, LL. She's stupid. Well, I know she's dumb. Well, sorry, girls, but Polish is a complicated language. You don't just learn it overnight or with a book or any of those computer programs that try to help you. Ah! Yes, that's how you describe what Americans are. Cheeseburgers. I mean, it does paint us in a great light. 
Oh, Americans. I don't want to wait for my life to be over because I'm going to go into a fucking piece of fog and die. <laughs> that guy looks like James Vanderbeek kicking them out and whatnot. Listen to them. Absolutely fucking not. If you see fog, yes, fog stays in one place, and so, but moves. So if it's just sitting there and not moving, don't go into it. Don't do it. God damn you people. No, you're looking at a devil or whatever that fucking thing is. It's a statue. Of a devil or a gremlin or a gargoyle. You just have to look at it. Oh no, that means it's part of the movie. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, Marcus. Yeah, it's not my fault. I, it's all my fault, actually. <laughs> well, she takes the blame for herself. But it's like, it's too late. You already looked at the fucking... So now Marcus, Carmen, and Sarah are caught. They've obviously done something wrong. These people don't like them. So, why not fight? But they let Marcus go because he didn't see anything. And the priests say he's alright. Good for him. Sarah's dead. She's really dead. She keeps seeing demons in these guys' faces. But, also, she got her Achilles tendon ripped, so she can't walk anywhere. Yikes. They want Marcus to dig his own grave. I've done that before. It doesn't work out. I mean, it's not fun. You're just in a hole, and then you have to breathe dirt. It's no fun. Don't do it. Yeah. So I've been looking up some facts. Um, the Astra 600, uh, which is the gun in this movie, or it could be an Astra 900, um, that they were trying to kill Marcus with. They're German guns. So, yeah. Well, Sarah's dead. Oh, well. Wasn't that good of a character anyway. But Marcus, honestly... You're escaping, and all these people went through the, their time to kill your two cohorts. And you don't ask yourself why? Doesn't even work. Let me try it. I put some stuff on this. Yeah. 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 Ah, it does work. Ah, very interesting. So... The victims of this statue eventually see everybody as monsters. So it's like the opposite of what the people are seeing. They're also seeing you as a monster. Hmm. I like that. Okay, you got the keys you wanted. But now everybody in the house seems to be dying. I would use that as a cue to get the fuck out of there. I mean, it is your girlfriend, but really... She's some kind of monster. Just leave her. I mean, I'm inconsiderate. What? <laughs> I want to know who gets to clean this all up. Yikes. Intestines and whatnot. That, that's always fun. I wonder if there's a, uh, um, a church janitor that comes around and cleans it all up after they're done. Yikes. Well, the movie was a really good. I like it. It dealt with something that you don't always see. And it, ha it was very smart horror, too. I suggest it for anybody that's looking for something new to watch. Enjoy.